1924 version of the movie by the same name. That was it. So that's what I kind of that's what I kind of miss. That's kind of what I miss from the uh uh Yeah, definitely pre-time skip Joe. That was probably god, I don't know, 2 years ago. What's the date on this? Let me take a look. Looks like April 2018 is when I made it. Uh there's a couple other funny ones that I think um I'll cut together for you guys. I just have to find I have to find them and some of them didn't get cut until they were in the video. Uh, and so maybe I'll, I'll I'll pull out some clips for you guys if if that's funny for you. If you're like F you Joe, just play Quest for Glory 3, that's fine too. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Several for each and then compile them with clips from the stream. That's that's not a bad idea. That sounds like a way for Alex to spend 90 years of his life. Alex does a lot of my video editing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're in 2020 already. Sweet. Alex is like, oh, f*** me. Forever working for Joe. Just give it, just gotta give it up. Holy crap, why would you say that, Jug, that we're halfway through 2020? Ugh. I mean, I'm anxious, I'm as anxious for everybody for this year to be over. Uh, I'm as anxious as everybody, but jeez. So do you guys want to get into Quest for Glory 3? Because I kind of want to get into Quest for Glory 3. Let's do it. I have to, I have to press the button that starts the game and then... And then we'll... And then we'll do this. The best sound ever, here it is. And here we go! Oh, I missed the- no, go back out, I wanna see- stop! Oh, Alright, well, we'll just- we'll import the character. It should pop up, and if it doesn't, we're in trouble. It should just read his butt gang. There it is, right there! Yes! Welcome to Tarna. Uh, as a thief, great. He's a thief. With all the skills maxed out. Oh, and I have available points. What, uh, what should I add points to? Um, should we change the name at all? Do you guys want to edit the name? Like, Butgang Schmozart the third? We could add a Vaughn in there since there's more characters available. Okay, no, we'll keep it, we'll keep it just regular old Butgang Schmozart. Alright, alright, you guys got, wow, you guys got mad. There is a spider web, um, that's that's attached to the end of my upper monitor. I wish I wish I had like a second camera so I could can I, let me maybe maybe I could show you guys. Hang on. I'm going to show you. I'm going to work we're, we're already we're 1 minute into the game and I want to show you guys. See if you could see it. But it's like dancing in the wind in a really interesting way. Oh, it's all it's all stupid. Hang on. Let's do this, and a new one, and it'll be not that one, this one, like that. And it's, of course it's not working, right? It's not working. What is this? What is my life? Never mind. Anyway. It's like, it's a single spider web that I turned on my fan, which is in this direction, and it's just like, it's gotta be three feet long, and it's just blowing in the wind, like a flag, like this, like a spider's butt flag. The game's audio is loud. Is that better? Why isn't it working? Now I'm sort of just kind of annoyed as to why why I don't get, why I don't get any cool. Oh, I see why, because I'm already using the source somewhere else. Because it's already being used here. Here, wait, I'll see, you can see the spider web. Can you? No, you can't, that's ridiculous. That doesn't even make any sense. 
Look, it's right there. You can see it. That's the spider web. Nani? And then look, it's just going and going and going and going. We're all the way over here now. It's going and going. It's huge. It's a huge spider web. Look, it's quarantine. I don't clean as well as I should. Can we go back to playing the games now? Can we can you guys stop screwing around so we can play some games? F you guys. All right, let's um let's make him super smart. 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. And then we'll also make him dodgy cuz I hate training dodge. And then we'll make him No, he's going to be fine without that. And then we'll make him luckier. Yeah, let's make him super lucky. None of this matters. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh, it's Aziza and Rakish. We're still in Shapir. Three months ago. Three months have passed. I now look like I've, I've changed out of my Shapir garb. Adavis attempted to unleash Iblis. Oh, nice uh, hi-fi replay of what's going on here. Adavi stood before his hexagram. How does how does she sound? Preparing to unleash the foul Iblis to do his bidding. This is Aziza telling the story. Hear me, O oh dark powers. Light the darkness and bind Iblis to me. Forever. I'm trying to remember, like, how... Uh, I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. No, I don't want to skip the introduction. We got people here watching this. Through the dagger. You entered the room and broke the seal of Suleiman by moving the candle. I'm very mysterious. You idiot! Now you shall be destroyed. But I was like, no, f*** that. I'm going to run over here, and I'm going to... Yeah, duck again. Give him one. Well, bam! That was a nice... It wasn't quite a Wilhelm scream. But it's... Yeah. You threw your last dagger out of... And in truth, I had several remaining. Adavis is dead. Fell off a building. Still, there is some mystery. What's the mystery? Tell us the mystery, Aziza. The body could not be found. Even with my magic, I cannot determine who or what removed the body or what came be become of it. I believe the unbinding of Adavis's power could well have other darker results. Now we're here again in my house in Shapir. You've become the Prince of Shapir by order of the Sultan Harun al-Rashid. Rakish now desires to return to his home in Tarna. Krisha is his wife. There is talk of war. A demon has again broken. Now if you remember, a demon uh, originally hurt Rakish's leg. That's why Rakish sort of had to retire from adventuring. In three days, a magical portal will appear to take Rakish back to Tarna. There we go. I suggest that if you, Prince of Shapir, wish to become a hero, you accompany Rakish. If there was a demon... You must stop it and send it back to its own world. My name is Aziza. I'm very mysterious. I like water. I like what? Oh, wait. It greatly grieves me to say farewell to such fine friends and honored guests. Rakish, you were a great aid to me, and I sorrow to see you return to Tarna. Oh, great. I can't... I cannot... He, like, he needs... James Earl Jones. And Uhura, who is also from Tarna, is going to come with us. Music gets a big upgrade in QFG3. Yeah, or we need or we need Patrick Sites. With a great treasure, my son Simba. So is okay.
I have, I give you a special gift. Oh, grab, ma oh man, I want a magical grapnel hook. That's awesome. Oh, and a hug. I got a grapnel and then a hug that sort of sparkled. Did that hug, did the hug make that noise? Up oh, now we're getting through the ankh. We're gonna get through, just jump through the ankh. Now here we are in Tarna. No, there's no jetpack in this game. I wish there was. Krisha and Rakish, they're just like a cute couple. They're a s super... Yeah. Habari, warrior. One of the cool things I like about, uh, about Quest for Glory in general is in like, in a, in a in an age where like cultural appropriation wasn't even a word yet, they really did take the time to like, try to get some things right. So like they, they researched, I mean, you know, like when you're talking about this stuff in the 80s, it's harder than Googling it. So it did take some effort. Um, all the languages are right for the most part in all the languages in all, in all the games. I don't, I, I'm assuming, I think it was Swahili what they used for this. They used a dialect of Arabic for, um, they didn't use modern standard Arabic for Quest for Glory 2, they used, um, it wasn't Levantine either. I don't remember what dialect they used, but it was something, it was something particularly, something particular. The usage of magic is forbidden upon the streets of Tarna. Okay, so now, now you can do a couple things. Wow, we're back to this, like, clickable menu. Which is really nice. So we'll save this as Butt Gang 1. Um, if anybody can tell me what uh, dialect they were speaking in Press for War 2, I'd love to know. Um, yeah, they're really culturally sensitive. It's cool. Um, so now you can click on yourself and use, like, you know, say hi. And you can also tell about Shapir. And you can also talk to them. What do we have? Did we get gold? Dinars, we got a ton of money. Um, a fine dagger. That's close combat. Then we got a throwing dagger. Did we get all our pills? 12 poison cure pills, 12 mana pills. 12 healing pills. That's probably more than we're going to need for the entire game. We also have uh, Spim. Special portion instant meal. Instead of spam, you get Spim. In my books, I created my own acronym for... Oh, you get the, the, the sapphire pin. That's cool. And a note from Shema to Shala in Shema's Fonicle. To the Kata and Tarna. Oh, okay, cool. So we got some notes to deliver. Already we got some stuff to do. Let's talk to Rakish. Talk to us about Tarna. What's going on in Tarna? Tarna, the city of the Lion Tars. Talk to me about Uhura. Okay, so we're gonna go to their village in a couple of days. The Leopard Men. Uh, let's see. The Simbani and the Leopard Men, they don't like each other. Leopard men are humans who take on certain aspects of an animal through magic. Jungles to the east. Talk about the war. Finding about the war was okay, so we don't know anything about the war yet. Uh, lion tours. Mm hmm, mm hmm. There are several members of the Council of Judgment who also respect humans. All right. Krisha, how are you? Is anybody in the chat, I mean like, this is, it's too old for me, 
Is anybody familiar with uh, Sanford and Son, the old sitcom? All right, there's a portal. You big dummy! That's right. That's right, Drumming Oni. Okay, so there's there's a great tribute to Sanford and Son in this game, and I, I love it. If if you haven't seen it, it's totally worth checking out. I think it might be on like Hulu. Um, it's an old sitcom uh, about a guy and his dad running a like, it's like a pawn shop, sorta like a junk shop. It's totally worth watching. A ritual is a series of actions and events used as magical spells. Yeah, okay. Alright. So let's, uh, let's go exploit. Well, let's explore much faster than that. And let's turn the skill all the way up. Because we're skilled here. Through that alcove lies my private quarters. Get the f*** out of my room, Schmozart. What's going on over here? There we go. Hi, Jaded Mochi. I have reserved a room in your name at the nearby inn. I can see you are eager to explore our city. Goodbye, Prince of Shapir. Farewell, my friend. I, I, can I get a James Earl Jones? Let's see if I can get a James Earl Jones -y boy. Farewell. No, that's, that's not James Earl Jones. We gotta get a little bit down in here. Farewell, my friend. In two days, I will stand before the Council of Judgment and speak of peace. I would like you to be there as well. Then we can journey together to the Simbani village. In the meantime, explore and enjoy Tarna. If you have any questions, you will find us here. Enter freely. You will be welcome at any time. Something like that. I feel like Kreisha is probably like, Well, almost any time. After all, Rakish and I need some time to, uh, speak with one another again after such a long party. Good day. Actually, let's see. So there's a... I have a pitch button. Let's play. I have a pitch button and a gender button. So if I took the gender all the way up... But put the pitch down. This doesn't sound very like female lion, does it? I don't know. I am your fault. No, not really. Not really. So we'll keep the... We'll keep this... Over. Okay. No, it's the hotel. It's the hotel. Uh, question two. Oh, everybody's here. That's okay. Uh, uh, you die. That was a long. That was a long way around. Trivia murder party is exactly what I was going for there, drumming Oni. Well, the music did a weird thing. Oh, it's the Quest for Glory theme, like very faintly in the background. All right, so we've got uh, the Alexa. I'm not talking to you. The sign below the eyes reads magic. No! Alexa, shut up. You can see the sign which reads, Apothecary, so a place to buy potions and pills. Let's go check that out because we're gonna meet somebody that we already know. Oh, no, we're not, okay. You must be the Prince of Shapir people are talking about. Wow, I've never met a real prince before. Welcome to my apothecary, Prince. It's so groovy. So let's sit down. Hey, man. My name is Salim Nafs. That means healthy soul in Arabic. In numerology, I'm an eight. I'm also Libra. Libra, you know, is, is like the scale. That means I'm like well balanced. What's your sign? Uh, you tell about your adventures in Shapir. You know, I have dreams about a desert land like that. They're like so real, it's like, wow. Talk to me about your dream. I dream I'm in like this desert place with like golden sand and stuff. I'm dancing with this tree, you know, and it like changes. Suddenly the tree's like a woman and she's beautiful. It's really magical. Well, that's interesting. Because I met a woman in the desert. You tell about how you helped the enchanted tree woman, Julinar, regain some hope while you were in Shapir. How extraordinary, like totally far out. The girl of my dreams is real. I'm so thrilled to hear it. 
I'll leave for Shapir on the next caravan there. Really interesting. So, all right, Salim. Wow, he just like got up for some reason. Salim is gonna go, is gonna go to Shapir. We are, we are multi-game matchmakers. We're multi-game matchmakers. We, we can take a personality from Quest for Glory 2 and make them fall in love with a personality from Quest for Glory 3. That's the kind of power we have, schmoes. That's our power. That's your power. In games and in real life. All right. Plants are like people. They love to share their hopes. Have you hugged or treated it? No, I did that last game. We just talked about this. Boogie with the baobab and polka with the palm, mamba with the mango and fandango with the frogs. I have these really neat dreams about dancing with the tree. Yeah, we talked about it already. Talk to me about your potions. I'm really a lot more into pills than potions. Tarna doesn't have a recycling center for potion bottles, I'm afraid. A little behind the times. Did your horoscopes see anything? You know, we always need a dispel potion. Sure, talk to me about the dispel potion. Wow, I've never sold one of those. I'll need to look it up in my book. He only has one book. Not like I'll need to consult my library. I'll need to look it up in my one book. Hey, check this out in the pharmacopoeia. Wow, man, I've already got most of this stuff. There's the bee's knees and the ibis's eyelashes and a clear amethyst crystal. Out of sight. So like, all I need now is some water from the pool of peace. A gift from the heart of the world, and oh, gross, the fruit of a venomous vine. That really shouldn't be too much of a problem for a hero like you, should it? Okay, great. Let's see. Talk to me about your pills. One pill makes you better, one pill makes you well, and the ones that give you mana are the ones that I sell. Hey, this money's funny. Oh, we gotta get our money changed. Okay, so we can't even, we can't even be here. Screw it. So we've got, um... Up here, there's a couple things we can do today. This, is, it, is this a temple? Let's, let's find out. The money changer, thank God, is much, 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 much easier to find. I don't think I can go in there, can I? Okay. This up here is the Temple of Sekhmet. So if we go to the Temple of Sekhmet, we're gonna have a trippy experience, I think. You enter into a huge hall dominated what might be a statue of Sekhmet. The air is smoky, filled with the odor of strange spices. Someone or something is watching you. A lion to our priest. How dare a human defile the sanctity of the temple of Sekhmet. Be gone. Hello? Get out. The statue starts to move. Oh. In my temple, you will speak only my words, not your own, beloved. Human doer, changer of worlds, releaser of darkness. Thou hast not yet been judged, and a future cannot be weighed. Wheel or woe? Should it be woe? Towers of Tarn are gonna get real sh Is the statue sliding into my DMs? The darkness before us rises from the darkness behind you and you must confront that darkness. I want everybody to look at this. This is a good metaphor for life. The, the darkness before us comes from the darkness that's behind us. And if you don't confront it, more darkness is gonna emerge before you. Yet more I cannot see it. Get the f out and come back with the gem of the guardian. You shall then be weighed and judged, and a future can be seen. We will review a future for you to make or unmake. Get the f out. Alright. Alright, well that was kind of cool. So we can't do the trippy thing yet. I think we can do the trippy thing after we go get the gem that they're talking about.
He seems to be ignoring you. Yeah, lion taurus don't really like humans. Let's go check out. Is this the inn? This is the inn. Okay, let's let's save that for later. Let's go to the market. There they are. They're my favorite. I love them. And they even like throw back to the theme song. Hello, young man. You look like you. I like. I can't even do the impressions of the guys. They're they're such great characters. This makes me want to watch Sanford and Son again. Pop, these items aren't new. You know that. Oops. In other words, lie. They even look like him. How awesome is this? I didn't say that. Oh, Elizabeth, I'm coming. As I was saying. What can I sell you? Oops. Uh, oh, you can make the... Hello. What can we sell you? Let's make the thief sign. You put your thumb upon your nose with your hand held perpendicular to your face and fingers outspread. Then you wiggle your fingers while crossing your eyes. Oh, the crossing your eyes is new. And patting your belly. Just as you were taught in the famous adventurous correspondence school for thieves. The two men look at each other for a second, and the older man twirls his finger in his head, and they look back at you. That's it. Every everyone is a guaranteed anachronism. Real antiques. Aha! Look what we found already! What's that? Sculpture of a black bird. We already found our copy of the Raven for Quest for Glory 3. That was pretty quick, huh? Uh, we can't buy anything yet, so let's 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 pause this for now. No, I'm not gonna buy anything. Uh, we're about to have a little incident. Some, uh, some real loading issues for some. You enter the north of a, the bazaar and witness a dispute. What are you doing? That is not right. Stop! Thief! How should we deal with him? How should we deal with that thief? I'm pausing it so I can give you guys an idea. What should we do to stop that thief? Violence. Uh, okay, okay. We'll, we'll try violence. I don't know that I'll be able to do it. I missed him. We're gonna try again. We're gonna try again. And we're gonna turn the speed down. No, I have to... Sorry. I can't do it that fast. Let's go back to Butt Gang 1. Uh, let's turn the speed down a bit. So we can catch him. And then we'll walk very slowly in the next scene. I feel like a thief stopping another thief is kind of silly. I don't know if you actually get points for doing it. Really dramatic music. Hit him! I missed twice. How? I'm a crappy... I'm really not... I'm really not good at this. Now we're gonna try again. I'm gonna lead him. I'm gonna lead him a little bit. Ready? Right there! Nailed him! And I got points for it too. This man is to be taken before the Hall of Judgment. All wrongs will be righted. You threw a f dagger at him. That was real nice, bro, but you gotta come. You gotta come by. Because, of, you know, it's violence. So, less, less than like an hour in Tarna. <clears throat> the Council of Judgment has determined that you, Harami, which I believe is Arabic for thief, have broken the laws of Tarna by taking things belonging to others. You have shown yourself to be without honor. A big deal. And by the judgment of Council, blah, 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 Harami, you have no honor. Get the f out.
The Council of Judgment now summons the Prince of Shapir. Very slowly, the Prince of Shapir did willfully throw a dagger at the back of the Honorless One. It is against the laws of Tarna to harm another. The Honorless One is no longer a person. Mm. Therefore, the human harmed no one. Acknowledged. Eating, okay. King Raja orders Rakish and the Prince of Shapir to meet with him in his chambers immediately. You may enter into the presence of Raja Sartana. You tell the king that you are honored. You stand before me in honor. Rakish. You brought along this Prince of Shapir to help you bring peace. How can a human be of such service to a lion at all? You puny human! How will you aid Rakish? Rakish has called you a spy. Do you think you can sneak around and watch the leopard moon without being discovered? I guess I'll answer him. Very well. So this Prince of Shapir has come to bring peace and harmony to Tana, has he? Hmm? You grow too old, Rakish, if you must uh, depend upon a human for help. Your age has made you cowardly and taken away your honor. It's very scar-like. I'll defend Rakish. You now need a human to speak up for you now, Rakish. I do not need to defend myself to you of all people, Krasha. Rakish, you of anyone should be demanding war instead of talking about peace. Rishaka is lost. Your own daughter has been killed by the Leopardmen. Do you not want revenge? The truth of what has happened to Rakisha has not been determined. When I know for certain about Rakisha, I will deal with the matter myself. I do not need all of Tarna to suffer the horrors of war for my daughter. Revenge for the sake of revenge is pointless. Mindless revenge is pure stupidity. Rakish, human, do you have anything important to add to this conversation? Uh, let's talk about... about... Shapir, hey, let me tell you what I did over there. That is an interesting tale for a human to tell. You may leave our presence now. Get the f*** out. Everybody here is telling me to get the f*** out. Bye. Well, that was eventful. Let's go ahead and turn that speed back up so it doesn't take us nine hours to play this game. And down we go. Back to the market. Yeah, lions are kind of heads in this game. All right, let's go change our money. Stop it, Sanford and Son. We'll we'll get to you. Hey, money changer. Hadik Said Effendi. So they're still speaking that same dialect of Arabic. Um, as in much of Africa, you have a, a mix of Arabs and native Africans. Well, both are native Africans, but uh, Swahili and Arabic descent. Hadik Said. The gold coin of Karna is called a royal. Royals and commons, dinars and centar, uh, centimes, rumors. They say that there is a tremendous inflation in Silmaria, and that the exchange rate has bottomed out for the Mordavian coinage, since no one can travel in or out of the country now. Oh, you mean local rumors. Uh, say yes. Let's exchange all to royals. Katir Khairak Mamnum Effendi. Many thanks. See, like, I speak some modern standard Arabic and I cannot understand their dialect at all. Oh, because he's from Shapir. I see. I'm most well, Effendi. Thank you. Oh, so he's from Rasir, not Shapir. So. Again, as in with, uh, like, the, the first game, I know that I'm going to need to buy some stuff later in the game. I'm going to save us the the back and forth, um, and I'll just buy some of the stuff now. Especially since I have 
Uh, what do you got? Animal hides, leather items. Oops. What do you have for rumors? He does not gossip. Buana. Buana is like a word for, um, like boss. They say boss in Swahili. Uh, yeah. It's like jefe. They say Buana. Make a purchase. All right, so uh, I'll need, I don't think I'll need, let's bargain this down to three. Mzuri, buena, it is good. So let's actually buy five of them. I think I'm gonna need five of them. Great. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, we'll need a zebra rug, don't worry about it. Fruit, fruit, um, what do you bet? There's been talk that Tarna is going to war with the Simbani. How would they go to war with some? Okay, let's buy some fruit. Mixed fruit. Uh, let's bargain. Let's get that down to like. Right there. You make me a poor man. while well, you enjoy yourself with my fruit. Um, Let's just buy 10 fruit. I don't know that we'll need it. Okay. Um, I did learn Arabic because of the Air Force. I minored in it in college. So I minored I minored in uh, Russian and Arabic. And I went to college at the Air Force Academy. So, yes. Air Force, yes. Um, let's see what we got. What's this guy? What's going on? Oh, hey, oh. Ah, I see that you are in need of a new weapon. Why do I need a new weapon for? Damascus Steel. What do you want me to kill him and take his for Evelyn? You're being very violent today. All right. Let's see, you got some weapons. Talk to me about your, I don't need bow or dare. Let's talk. It is being said, rumors about me. Make a thief sign. Is that some sort of fraternity handshake or what? Okay. We'll find thieves eventually. Rumors, uh, weapon seller, let's make a purchase. Oh, um, sh I can't remember what you need. I think you need, it just saves some time. How many fine spears do I need? I know I need at least, I know I need at least one. I have so much money though. Okay, so let's let's buy some fine daggers too. Buy one of those. Great. Okay, I know I got points for it, so we're all we're all good there. How many throwing daggers do I have left? I have four. Let's get a couple of those. Um buy a weapon. Oh I could I can't buy any more fine daggers. So good, 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 good. Throwing dagger. Let's let's make like three of those. So be it. Let's get yeah. Let's buy some of those. Great. Now let's talk about some stuff. And Forda, this dummy, this dummy, you dummy. I love I love it. Buy junk goods. So, oh, a tinderbox is one thing that I need, for sure. Let's go ahead and bargain that. All the way down to 178. What do you mean it's okay? You want us to lose all our money, dummy? Go watch Sanford and Son, it's great. Boop, boop. I'm coming, Elizabeth. I'm coming, Elizabeth. Oh, man. 90% of the chat is like, what the f*** is Joe talking about? Alright, so we bought that one. Uh, the black bird. We're just gonna buy that outright. Um, who's this guy? Can I sweeten your life? Hey, who are you? Good day, Effendi. Okay, let's buy some honey. I can't buy more than one honey, so we'll just we'll just buy it. Okay, I guess I needed that. 
Oil Sahib. Oil of all types and uses. Make your hair stay out of your eyes with oil. Now this guy, I'm gonna give him the thief sign. You should not make fun of your betters. Oh, I guess not. So the oil salesman, all right. Olive oil. Uh, let's buy some oil. Olive oil. Let's let's bargain him down. All right, we're getting we've we've bought a significant amount of stuff. Let's take a look at this bird. Blackbird. The blackbird brings back memories of your wonderful vacation in Razir. Hmm, wasn't there one in Spielberg too? Too bad this is just a cheap plaster imitation, so we still don't have the real bird. Beads! Beads! Very fine beads! I love her because she doesn't say anything other than Beads! I have beads! Uh, have you ever learned any rumors? Rumors? Mafhimtish! So that's that Arabic dialect again. Um, uh, Mafhimtish is like, um, in, in classical Arabic it would be like, Ma'afhem. I don't understand. In this dialect it's Mafhimtish. I don't know where that came from. Sure, we'll buy some beads. Give the lady the thief sign. Okay, uh, let's buy some beads. Sure, not gonna bargain. Let's buy more beads. Great, we have so many beads now. Fresh fish! We got this guy. Talk to me about your fresh fish. Just out of the river, it's still writhing in their death throes. That's the way you want it, like... My food is so fresh, it's dying in front of your eyes. Don't you, like, say, hey, what's up? Buy fish. Uh, sure, we'll buy a couple things of dried fish. I think it's just rations. Obviously, that wasn't important, so. Ah, this guy. This spider web is, like, super distracting. Greetings, have a glorious day. Buy a rope, Effendi? All who adventure can sometimes use a rope. Now, this guy will give the thief sign. Oh, one of the brethren, eh? When I was not, but... I am not, but when I was younger, I knew many in your profession. I was a tightrope acrobat in my youth, and many with your skills would come to have me teach them acrobatics. But Tarna is no place for the... Uh, brethren. There is no guilt here. And no place to sell items. But look at me flipping the da! I do parkour! 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 It's happening! Uh, so talk to me about acrobatics. Acrobatics are simple, really. Just do tricks and jump around. It's fine. If you're interested, I'll be happy to teach you for 50 royals. It is a skill worth knowing. That's a lot. Uh, let's buy some rope. But I'm gonna bargain, I'm gonna bargain you way down. Can I buy more than one? I just need a rope. Okay, so definitely needed a rope. Uh, and also I need to train. I pay him, I, wow, okay. You have a better feeling of balance. You need to practice quick. So, uh, there's no more cheating in this game, so I can't, like, automatically upgrade my skills. Let's take a look at... So I can sneak. Sneak, 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 sneak. Alright, we'll make sneaking our default. You were told you shouldn't use magic. What's my skill sheet? Acrobatics. Oh, I don't have... I don't have an acrobatics button. Maybe that's next game. Alright, sneak, 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 sneak. sneak, sneak. Do I even have lockpicks? Thief's toolkit. I don't know if I can pick my... Can I pick my nose? No, you can't pick your nose in this game. 
Man, that's lame, huh? I, I, uh, there's, there's not a single lock pick. It's just the tools, tools, tool set. Look, I got a lot of sh** here now. Greetings, Effendi. May I interest you in my carving, Sir Hood? Uh, yeah, actually. I would like to greet. And I would like to tell you about your homeland. It is such a pleasure to hear news of my homeland. I cannot express my happiness from your story. Uh, I will. Well, no, no, not thanks. Thanks. Hang on. Um, I owe you this letter, right? Yeah. Thank you for your kindness in bringing me this note from my aunt Shema. She makes great pies. It is so wonderful to have news of home. It is said to be so far from Shapir, the nose for which I care. Buy a carving. It will give me great pleasure to give you this leopard as a gift, my friend. I hope you will accept it as a token of our friendship. Aw, that's nice. I'll make a thief sign. Pardon me, but I do not understand the customs of humans. Are you dancing? Uh, talk to me about rumors. Much talk of war. The pin! Oh, that's cute. Um, that's it. I think we're all done with you. This guy is great. Good day, Master. How may this worthless son of a dog serve you? Perhaps you would like some meat? May I sell you some meat, please? Hey there. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Master. Hello. Talk to me about meat. Meat? You want to know about my meat? You actually want to know about my meat? How wonderful, how glorious you're asking me, miserable mongrel of a meat merchant, me, about my meat. Yes, this is the meat for you. It's the flesh for a pharaoh. Meat made for the monarchs, the sustenance of sultan. Rump roast of rhino. Withers of wildebeest. There's a lot here. The stew of the new and the zebu. Filet of frog. The brain of a baboon. I've never done monkey brains. I've never eaten monkey brains. Hi, Chin Chen, this is your job in real life? Do you just, you just hawk meat? Cold cuts of camel, sliced livers of sloth. My choice chops of cheetah or bush bucks in broth. This is a really long speech about meat and now I understand why people don't ask him this. More about... I'm a little terrified to pick this option. But I'm gonna. On second thought, you'd rather not know. You want me to share information with you? To inform you with the facts together? Oh my god, please stop talking. With dogged determination. Great, uh, let's make the thief sign. Excuse me, but do you have please? I will buy some meat. It's just a lot of rations. I don't think I need them, but I will bargain them down. I actually think he will accept whatever price I offer him. Because he's... Now, this is me really taking advantage of someone's personality. Oh, goody, goody, goody. If the good master offers a price, I will accept it. I am the most lucky kalb in the world. Kalb is Arabic for dog. Uh, and now I can buy a ton of meat rations for no money at all. Wow. Oh, most magnanimous, magnificent, munificent, beneficent, benevolent, malevolent, non-violent, ultraviolet, ultra level or level of That was I almost got through that. May your meat never molder or crawl with disgusting, creepy maggots. No thanks. Let's uh let's let's not talk to him anymore. Hey, but we're real close to halftime. Why don't we do that? I think I like that idea. Do you guys like that idea? Let's do it.
I can't turn off Quest for Glory in the background. Sorry, that's there's really nothing I can do about it here. What I'll do is I can turn this up and then play it like this. So there's a lot more contrast. I can do that. Is that better? So yeah, it's a deer in floppy disk land. And so uh, is anybody here, this is their first time on a stream and, and the idea of a halftime show is completely uh, insane to you. There are so many of these. Deb heart attack, it's not your first time here. Uh, Shokar, welcome. I am Ferdinand von Eyer 3. Wow, there's a lot of people whose first time here. So I have a halftime show that I do in the middle, which is basically just an improv show. You guys get to give me prompts um, and I will answer them. The first one I ever did was for Fire Emblem called Dear Abby, where you guys get to ask me for life advice uh, and I will answer uh, as a deer would answer. Um, some of the other halftime shows we do, I have a random voice generator. I'm trying to give my voice a little bit of a rest. Um, as of lately, you guys will hear me talking a little quieter and doing a little bit less daring things with my voice. Uh, it needs some rest. Uh, and that'll probably be going on for the next couple of months as I try to, like, rest up a little bit. Um, and uh, the other things we do during Shadowverse, which is a card game, you guys will give me fake card names. Um, you guys, and then I'll have to describe what those cards do. Um, fake Pokemon. And there's, there's been a bunch of stuff that we've done. So this is Dear Abby. Guys, give me a number two between 2 and 50. Twenty-six. Twenty-six comes from JBS who asks, Dear Abby, I put out a bird feeder on my fire escape, and now the sparrows have claimed it as their own. What is the best way to take it back so I can get my antlers a nice tan? If you put a bird feeder on your fire escape, I kind of assumed that you wanted birds to come and eat it. So I'm, I guess I'm a little confused as to why you'd put a bird feeder and then try to reclaim it. Um, unless you're a bird. I mean, I thought you were a deer. So I guess I'm a little confused. Um, it's important, especially during this unprecedented times, and I use that term with incredible irony, um, that, that we all, you know, uh, we try to foster some sense of community. So, um, with your, with the bird feeder, Maybe this is an opportunity for you to make, uh, um, make some friends with the sparrows, right? There's also a chance that you're an undercover black eagle, which is also, I guess, fine. Um, yeah. So, so maybe, maybe you get to know the sparrows. Uh, they're hungry. They're hungry just like you are. Um, let's see. I'm sorry, give me a number between 2 and 39. I was looking at the wrong part of the sheet. 27 comes from Ai Chin Chen, who says, Dear Abby, there are lions prowling and sleeping in the streets around me. How am I supposed to get around knowing most are hunter women? Um, I think you may have taken a wrong turn, and there's a, there's a chance that you're in Tarna. Uh, you're in the wrong game entirely. Uh, you you may have found yourself at Quest for Glory 3. In which case, don't worry because the lions are sentient. And uh, uh, for the most part, they're not going to worry. They're not going to worry about you and you shouldn't worry about them. If they're blue lions, um, you also don't have to worry about them because they're too sad to do anything. But if they're, but if they're lion tours, you're okay because in general, they're just going to turn their noses up at you. Uh, and, uh, and then you'll be fine. All right, what's next? Which next one? I have to, I have to take this spider web down. Now I've touched it. Number 15. Number 15, was it, was, if it was, if it was suggested by Thunder Catherine, this is just getting weird because this is Thunder Catherine's submission. Dear Abby, I went out after weeks of quarantine, but got a nasty sunburn. I tried aloe vera, but it's too sticky for a deer's fur. Any tips on relieving sunburns? So the, I think the, the, the real main biological thing we got to work on here 
is that uh, is that um, uh, deer don't get sunburn. So what you um, what you may be experiencing isn't sunburn. Um, there's a chance that you've been slapped a lot, uh, and that's why your skin is red and hurts. So you should look around for someone that may be slapping you, um, and tell them to stop because just repeated slaps, it's not good for anyone. Uh, but no, you, you deer shouldn't get deer shouldn't get sunburned. Okay. What's next? Number four. Number four comes from Bobatori who asks, Dear Abby, I've been playing Fire Emblem Echoes lately, and I've fallen in love with Lucas, probably because of Greg Chun's voice acting. What does a deer need to do to stop this? Should I start going for Berkut, or would that be nothing but lies, lies, lies? Um, you know, one of the really difficult things about trying to stop yourself from falling in love with Greg Chun is that it's 100% absolutely impossible. So uh, I think I think the idea that you should try to fall out of love with Greg Chun, you just you just asking you're asking for you're cruising for a bruising, you know what I mean? You can't escape Greg Chun, and once he's got his claws in you, uh, there's really nothing you can do to 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 get out to, to get them out of you. The Greg Chun is too strong. Um. So my advice. Uh. I don't have advice. I'm sorry. You, you're. F sorry, you're you're gonna be in love with Greg Chun for the rest of your life, just like the rest of us. Number thirteen. Oops, I'm at the top of the chat now. Number thirteen. Dynamite Dino says asks, dear Abby. I seem to be not as funny or witty as my, as my peers, and I'm unable to come up with a good Dear Abby question. How can this deer gain some comedy skills in order to form the most perfect Dear Abby question of all time? This is like a super meta, this is a really meta Dear Abby question, but I like it. Um, really like, don't worry too much about your level of comedy, Dynamite Dino. I think a lot of people, um, you know, if you could just put, if you put a Fire Emblem reference in in the question, I think you're okay. Uh, if you put the re reference to the word but in the question, you're okay. Um, you know, there's just, you know, that I'm not saying the bar isn't high. I'm saying I think you're prepared to, to leap over it. Um, so yeah, just put like, next time you ask a question, include the word but um, and include the word golden deer or something like that, and you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Or, or, um, no, never, I was gonna say ask about Greg Chun's butt, but don't. Don't, don't, don't do that. We're, we're already in trouble with Greg Chun enough. Um, number five is Gebhardt attack. Wow. Interesting. Uh, I think, I think that he caught, they caught, uh, Thunder Catherine's disease. Dear Abby, it's been years since the defeat of racism. The old halls tell stories of parallel parking and how to buy presents. Salt cubes have been abandoned, but one question still plagues our minds. Have you watched Avatar yet? No, I haven't. Sorry. I We were just talking, like, um, my wife, and don't, please don't judge my wife, but she's like, I, I'm not hooked by this. This doesn't look interesting to me. And she's watched many, many series of anime. She's, she's, she dove deep with me into many nerd things, so you got to give her credit where credit's due. But she's like, I just, I just don't know if I want to do this one. So like that means I have to do it by myself. Which I mean, finding time to play video games by myself in a house of th three other people who are in quarantine—that's hard enough. Finding time to sit down and like watch a television show. How many seasons are there to Avatar? Three. I do want to watch it, um, and I will. I just, I just don't know. I just don't know when.
Um, since you guys keep saying the number three, I'm going to pick number three, which is from uh, Azendril, who says, Dear Abby, how do I stop overthinking? I don't know. I got to think about, I got to think about that one. Uh, number 12, Maki Rose, Dear Abby, I wonder, can pets be considered to be part of any particular house? My cat keeps debating between black eagles, blue lions, golden deer, or even the ashen wolves. What should I do? I need to convince my cat to join the best house. Sincerely, a confused doubt. So in Garrick Mock, the cats and dogs, they just kind of roam freely. There's, uh, there's, um, there's no, there's no, like, allegiance for cats or dogs in general. Same thing with the fish in the pond. Uh, and I think that you need to allow your cat to adopt a sort of Swedish neutrality. Um, or Swiss neutrality. Swiss neutrality. Uh, so don't don't worry too much about that. Let them roam. Let them roam. Uh, you know, every once in a while, like dogs, dogs in general, they're going to rub their butt on the carpet of the golden deer, black eagles, blue light. They're going to they're going to rub their butt everywhere. Uh, cats, they're going to leave their fur all over the place. So, uh, yeah, you got to understand, like, Gen 6 is right. They pretty much own the place. So don't worry too much about it. Number 17, Gamer Girl Dancer asks, Dear Abby, I'm currently on a quest to save my home, but while I was in the Fire Temple and the Spirit Temple, I kept setting myself on fire. How can I be a proper hero if I keep setting myself on fire? Sincerely, a singed deer. Um, honestly, like, the, how can you be a proper hero if you don't set yourself on fire? Um, I think that it's important to uh, conduct a little bit of self-immolation occasionally um, because, you know, like, you're going to set yourself on fire because there's, there's a solid chance that you're going to be set on fire by someone else at some point in the future. So if you don't learn how to handle being set on fire in a controlled way where you can do it yourself, you may not, you mean, you may fare poorly when someone else sets you on fire in the future, which which will happen. So, yeah. You can't save the world without burning some eggs, says M1NTS. MinTS. Yeah. So. Uh, and again, uh, this isn't real advice. Please don't set yourself on fire. Uh, let's do two more. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine comes from Writer Human. Which is a real question. Dear Abby, I'm struggling to get motivation to write, and I was wondering if you have any advice or tips. Neil Gaiman has a neat trick uh, about getting himself to write. He goes to a place every day, and he can either do two things. He can write, or he can not write. That's it. He can't, like, look at his computer, this place is for writing or not writing. He's more than welcome to sit there and stare out the window. Um, so if you establish that kind of space for yourself, that might work. Motivation for writing for me was always based on like just wanting to get stuff done uh, and getting, you know, moving on, not moving on to the next project, but like um, if, if you're having trouble being motivated, maybe switch your project. Write something, Neil Gaiman, not Neil Diamond. Um, maybe switch your project. Switch, try, try writing in something else. That might help for you. It's so tart. All right. Number 19. Are we do 19 already? Number 19 is oddly blank. I have to I have to pick a new number. Number six. Sakura Dreamers asks, Dear Abby, I found some new ice cream flavors while grocery shopping, but I can't pick which one to try next. What would you suggest for this sweet tooth deer? Why would you pick one? Buy all of them. Yet it's, we're in quarantine. Get all the ice cream. If you, you're exposing yourself to a, a, a harmful pathogen, if you continually go to the grocery store to get, to just try one at a time, f all that. Just, just go in there and, and buy every last one of them. Just buy every last one of them. And you're all right. Treat yourself. 
You're going to treat yourself. If you're broke um, and can't afford to buy all of the ice cream, um, I don't want to suggest that you should steal all the ice cream. But I'm also not saying it's it's not an option. Please don't steal yet. Don't do anything illegal. Don't don't do don't don't do it illegal. Anything illegal. And please don't don't lick the ice cream in the store and put it back in the in the cabinet. That is like anathema to all the things that we're talking about in today's world, okay? Don't do that. Uh Writer Human says pull a butt gang. I don't know what that is. I don't know what pulling a butt gang is. And I'm scared of what it means. One more. Fourteen. Carbesics. Um, Dear Abby, I've been using my voice a lot lately. I love to sing and read out loud, but I'm worried that my voice will get too tired to warn my fellow deer if a predator appears. How do I take care of my voice? Don't ask me, because for the next three months, I have to do voice rehab because I abused myself so much. <clears throat> uh, just, I'm, I'm not gonna go into too many details, but I basically have to draw down quite a bit of my work right now for the next three months. Um, because the, uh, the, the muscle structure of most of my, like the front part of my neck is uh, really weak. And we're trying to figure out why. We think it's from overuse, uh, but uh, you guys probably can hear like I'm a little, I could, I sound tired. Um, but so basically I'll be resting a lot over the next three months, including going to some vocal therapy. Um, some things you can do to take care of your voice is one, not use it too much. Two, you can do an exercise, ex exercise called straw phonation. I'm gonna type it into chat, straw phonation. Look that up and they'll tell you how to do it. That's a way to warm up and cool down your voice. Um, you can do a laryngeal massage, which is taking like the, the muscles around here and whatever. Um, but ultimately the best way to prevent your voice from getting too tired is not using it more than you need to. Um, when you're speaking, speak at a normal volume. Uh, when you're, uh, and if you're not, if you don't need to speak, shut up. That's it. That's basically what I have to do for the next couple of months is if I don't have to speak, shut up. And if I do have to speak, uh, let's be quieter. You guys will notice I'm probably, I'm closer to the microphone. I'm relatively quiet. I'm trying not to scream so much when we have fun, even though we have a lot of fun. So yeah, that's it. That's our, that's, that's the real Dear Abby voice. And that was real advice. Also hydrate. Also hydrate. It's not that I can't do funny voices. It's that I have to do less of them and I have to do them quieter. And uh, the, the less I jack up the muscles in my neck doing those voices, uh, the better. Yeah, this would be a great time for ASMR if we could just go be like, Hi everybody, welcome to my stream. My name is Joe Zijin. For the next two hours, I'm going to talk super, super quiet. I've got this bag of chips here, and I'm just going to eat one by one quite slowly. Yeah, we could do, we could do ASMR streams. Cool. That's halftime, you guys. Let's, uh, let's give some stuff away.
All right, let's wrap her up. Yeah, it's just me playing bongos in the back. I have a set of bongos around here somewhere. Maybe we can have a bongo stream. I feel like the amount of like different titles we need to have, like different streams we have. I don't think bongo. Uh, S X L Sexlexlria. What's up, S X L? Congratulations, you want to sign print for me? Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about this. So, um, I we con season got all f right. Uh, SXL, make sure you get in touch with a mod and let them know who you are, where you are, what print you want, and all that stuff. Um, I don't plan on taking a break from streams, Crescent Rose. Um, if the problem gets bad enough, and I'm advised to by my medical professionals, I may. But, uh, my plan right now is to keep doing things as normal. Um, right. So, s convention season is all f***ed up because of, uh, coronavirus. So one of the things that I was doing is I wanted to do like a Q&A with the greater social media community, which I'm doing, and I'm going to put that video together uh, within the next week or so. Um, but another thing that uh, came up is I found a way, well, my con agent found a way to um, give you guys the availability to purchase prints. Um, this is different from the merch store, uh, which I'm hoping to overhaul, like the whole merch thing is going to get overhauled within the next month or so. Um, so it'll be sort of like an online con, but not, not quite really. Um, and, uh, now you guys can purchase prints. Let me get the link for you. Because I don't think I'm going to have them up there forever, because I don't want to take away from the idea of conventions, but conventions for the foreseeable future are, again, f Uh, let me pop this open here. It's going to be right here. It's from Zobi. Good night, Aki. Um, feel better. And so, like, you guys get to pick one of the, the four prints that I have available, one of which is the cosplay, the cosplay print that you guys picked. And so you get somewhat of the experience of like being across the table from me while I sign something. I'll take a video, talk to you while I'm signing, and then I'll send it to you. Uh, and that's one way that you can do that. So if you don't think you'll make it to a convention, um, if you don't think that, uh, um, you know, you know, you're not, don't feel comfortable going to a con, conventions can be really fun, yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing here through Zobi is the partner that who we've partnered up with. So you can get signed prints from me, as many as you'd like, um, while while they're up. So I'm not gonna like do that sh thing where I say, for a limited time and create a sense of false scarcity. We're just trying to find the balance between like, we're gonna have this up, but then also when convention season, season comes up again, it's gonna be more of like a, we have to be with me to get that kind of stuff. Um, Sakajuwaka's birthday is tomorrow? Happy birthday. So mods, actually, if you can make that, this, I'm gonna drop the link again. Mods, if you can make that into a command um, that you can kind of remind everybody, that would be amazing. Uh, thanks. So here we are, back, Quest for Glory 3. Sneak it around. Let's talk to this guy. Amulets, huh? Do have a nice amulet against itchiness. Can I buy anything? No, I can't buy anything from him. What about you? Good day, Fendi. Uh, make a thief sign. She's not amused. Uh, how about a robe? Can I buy more than one of those? No, bargain. I know I need one eventually, so let's go down to six. That would be acceptable. Gotta get that robe cloth. I don't need anything, any cloth. Great. Say bye. What does drag butt gang mean? Why do I see it in chat? 
Oh, the drummer there. Let's talk to the drummer. He smiles. He doesn't seem to know your language. Um, I think I can steal from him. You stealthily swap your common for a royal from the cup. There, I stole and I got, uh, I got points for it. Up, oh, the bazaar is closing. Time to go in for the day. Let's stop by the inn. Sneak, 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 I must return to work, but if you would like a meal, just take a seat. So, there's a, um... There's a clown. It's a silly clown from Trial by Fire. We never saw a silly clown, because we didn't wander around the alleyways, but eventually, like, one of the things that they did would, like, randomly, silly clowns would run around. It's not Clown Hubert. Everybody, don't get too excited. Agrimar, what's up? So, I don't think we can talk. Can we talk to the clown? The clown waves at you insistently. So nobody here, I don't think... <laughs> nobody here speaks my language. Let's look at the board over here. Alright. If you need a magic, okay. Don't harm anybody. No magic. Don't steal and behave with honor, which is super uh, weird because it's not definable. Potions, pills, and positivity. Visit the apothecary. Good vibrations. If you need it, we got it. See in the bar. Okay. So nothing there interesting for me, but let's uh, let's have a meal because we get to talk to the welcome woman. Look at the look how advanced we are. This it's sun is setting outside. Hello, hair of sunshine. What can I do for you? Let's uh, right away. You will melt my heart with such talk, you of the talented tongue. Are you as skilled in deeds as in words? Let me tell you about my deeds. Let me tell you about Shapir. You tell her about your adventures. You are indeed quite a hero. Now let's say hello. Marhaba. That I understand. Let's order a meal. I will bring your meal right out. Because I flirted with her, she gives me a little hip bump. That's what you get for flirting with her. She gives you a little like, Hello! You're walking, watching me walk away! She hands me a, uh... She hands me an empty plate. No hip bump this time. The, the meal is good. No one's listening, so now it's time to go to bed. There's nothing to do at night. There's really quite little for a thief to steal in Quest for Glory 3. Which is a little unfortunate. There's a trunk here. The chest is empty. Uh, you can put stuff in there uh, as you, as you, uh, if you get, it gets too heavy. How's our sneak, how's our sneak stat doing? Let's sneak right into bed. Like my children. They sneak out of bed. So stealth, I haven't been working on at all. Agility, I got an agility boost for learning uh, acrobatics. Now let's go to bed. Let's sleep until morning. Sleeps with his clothes on, with no sheet or pillow, just falls on the floor, Passes out and wakes up in the morning. Let's go have breakfast with the welcome woman. And you can bet I'll be flirting with her every time. Good 
day, friend of paladins and kings. Let's flirt again. It is not just the room you warm with your sunshine, O oh Prince of Passion. Your words inflame my cheeks and other places. My goodness! How many times can I flirt? Alright, just once. Uh, let's have a, let's have breakfast. Oh my. Whereas there was a warning about sliding into DMs earlier. I get a feeling she's gonna look to slide into my DMs. I would love it if someone just brought me breakfast. I haven't gone out for breakfast in months. I love going out for breakfast. Alright. Stop commenting on how strange the food is. It's strange to you, Westerner. Uh, what the f*** am I supposed to do today? What are we supposed to do today? Do you guys remember? Because I don't know. We could go talk to... We could go talk to Rakish. Mira Mira, that is absolutely not what I was like in my single days. My single days were extremely short. Uh, I met my wife quite young, and I have almost no dating experience. Let's talk about the... Uh, hey. Let's talk about the... Uh, no. Uh, uh, council. Love it. The Council of- this game was so ahead of its time. The Council of Judgment is only females, because males are too emotional to make rational decisions. Where's Rakesh? He's with Raja. So Rakesh... Rakesh should have been king. JD, thanks for following. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I hope you love my streams too. And if you don't, there's a refund on your follow. Um, what's this game is Quest for Glory 3. We're playing point and click adventures on Tuesdays right now. You can become a paladin, Jen. Uh, but only in Quest for Glory 2. You had to complete a certain... Um, you had to complete a certain set of tasks like there was things that you could have rescued there's there's ways you could have been um you could have been thanks sx for your, your subscription you could but then you sort of switch over to the paladin class um you don't you, obviously like you don't steal anything you return some stuff so at the end of quest for glory 2 uh rakish remember when everyone was like i will speak for the hero of, of spielberg right at the end rakish steps up and he goes i will speak for the hero and then Blah, blah, blah. All of the things he's done, I proclaim you a paladin. And then you get to go through the game as a paladin. The paladin, I think, is a really interesting class to go through the to the game as. I don't really like the, the, the warrior class is kind of boring. The mage class can be a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, so can the paladin class. I will speak for the hero of Dinkelberg. Rakish was the king. He gave up the throne to go fight the demon wizard. Rakish is so f***ing cool. My paladin didn't. I did not. Remember that Rakish will be making the Pledge of Peace before the council. Should you choose to explore the savannah, please stay within a day's journey of Tarn. So we can go out and explore the savannah, actually, because there's some things we need to do there. I think we're done with the city. I'm not sure we need to actually ever need to go back into the bazaar again. We can leave right now. Let's uh let's get some sneaks. Alright, so there's a couple things we can do here. Uh and one of the things we can do is fight lizard men. Let's fighting in this game's a lot nicer. Can I use the- I can use, okay. This is an intense fight. I actually think I'm gonna start using- let's use this. 
We'll fire this off. Let's get him. Nailed it. Yeah, it's a little more like Quest for Glory 1 with some, some better combat mechanics. This music always creeped me out when I was a kid. Like, when you're done fighting, it's just this creepy-ass music. I mean, you're in the middle of, like, a really nice plane. And it's creepy and weird. I don't know. This, that was kid me. It's day two. At some point, uh, I like to make journeys into the savannah because it takes so long to get around. Um, there are some automatic events that will pull you back. Um, I did murder a lizard. The rocks here form a very small alcove where some very interesting looking plants are growing. So the mere cats, they're mere bats. We were supposed to get the fruit off the poisonous vine, right? So let's, uh... Let's, let's... How are we gonna do that? I, I feel like a dagger throw is probably appropriate here. Let's try that. Just throw a dagger right at the fruit. Well, that didn't work. Pick up a few good throwing rocks. How about the daggers I just dropped? Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to lose a bunch of daggers. Uh, can I get around them? The vines whip around, and this, they inject poison, and it's really awful. Uh, and let's, let's use the dagger and chop them off. Get out of here. Now I'm definitely poisoned. This isn't what I wanted to do at all. There's got to be a better way to solve this puzzle. I don't remember it. Um, I know I can. Where's fetch? Oh no, I have the grappling hook. Can I use the grappling hook? Can I put the grappling hook on the rope? I can, okay. Alright, yeah. You retrieve the fruit with your magic grapnel and place both carefully away in your pack. Great, fantastic. I think you can do something with these mere monkeys. But I can't remember what it is. Alright, so we got the fruit. But yeah, let's also burn it to the ground. You guys are right. You got the right idea. Stupid. I think if I leave and I come back, I can do something with the mere monkeys or whatever. Let's try again. Yeah, the mirror monkey goes in. I don't know what they're trying to do here. Nothing? Okay. Then the little mirror monkey goes and gets it. Let's hit him. And then... And then you leave, and then you come back, and I think the mirror monkey... Maybe that's another way to get the fruit. It is. A glowing stone? Huh, what's that? A fire opal. Honestly, I don't remember that. But we got it. Now, what else is there to do here? I'm gonna save, because I know there's something else I want to have to do. Dun -dun 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 -dun. A glacier hiccuped here, leaving behind a pile of... That's a very interesting looking rock formation. I don't want to go too far. Let's see what else. Alright, you don't want to be late for your meeting, so you automatically are transported back to the, the town. That's great. Can't wait to have breakfast with the welcome woman. Maybe I have a little crush. I turn the phone off. Oh no, I'll go immediately to the 
Two months ago, the Simbani requested that we aid them in their war against the Leopardmen. So we sent emissaries. The peace mission was ambushed. That's actually Rakesh's daughter got taken during that ambush. Rishaka Dar Krisha is presumed to be dead or else a prisoner of the Leopardmen. It is our duty to seek revenge upon the Leopardmen for those who are lost. So there's some, there's some, there's just disagreements here. It is the duty of those in Tarna to care for her people. Oh yeah, we're back to the lions, huh? The warriors of Tarna desire revenge and the right to gain honor through battle. There is no honor in war, warrior of Tarna. There is only death. My magic indicates that there are signs of demonic activity. So we got some demons here. Rakish swears by his honor to bring peace. If he fails, he's honorless, just like Harami. Uh... Sure. Oh, we gotta go talk to the freaking Raja. Cool music. Rakish Satana, you stand before me in honor. You stand before me in honor, human. Rakish, are you so besotted by humans that you pledge your honor for them? What in the name of Sekhmet do you think you are doing? I have always pledged my honor to save lives, my lord. You, human, do you understand what it means to pledge honor? When I want a lecture upon honor from you, I will ask it, human. You did ask me. When I want your comments, Rakish, I shall ask for them. Rakish, you and I have disagreed on many things, but I have always cared for you as my brother. However, if I feel that Tana must go to war, it shall go to war. Even if I must strip you of all honor, Rakish, Tana will go to war. I will wait, but do not take too long. If the Simbani march against the Leopard, then I intend that Tana shall aid them. You human, you have anything else to say? Rakish. Does this human fight your battles for you also? He defeated the Earth Elemental and Shakir, and I could not, my lord. You have indeed grown old, Rakish. That a human must fight for you. The Lion Tar lets the hyena pick his bones rather than ask help from a human. I'm getting into this. Are you guys are you guys excited? I'm a paladin first, then a lion tour. To risk everything for peace is beyond my understanding. This is an old argument between us, Raja, mother, son. Must we fight in front of my friend? Human, leave us now. You too, buddy. Up oh, now we're going. Oh man, I had more things to do in Tarna. I think I get to go back there. Now we get to like uh, cross the the savanna with Rakish. There are a few animals which will bother a travel. Zebras, whatever. Even the tigers. There are things that are not quite animals. A field guide to Eastern Fricana. You're teaching me about paladinism, but I'm not- okay, sure. We must prevent this war between people and drive the demons back. Wait, what? I'm supposed to give a host a shout-out? Oh, crap! 
Who, who, who? I can't see. I don't have the appropriate thing set up. Who raided? Oh no. Oh no, what happened? Did we get raided? Thanks, Queen. Appreciate it. Welcome. I'm not gonna do the streamer thing. I'm not gonna, I'm just not gonna do it. Okay, now we're gonna camp out with a lion. I like that you guys who, who watch the, the, um, the, uh, the Sunday D&D stream, the Scarab Lords. I like that there's a Scarab on here now. It feels good. The streamer thing, I am for non is every time like somebody new comes in like, Hey everybody, my name is Joe ZG, I'm a variety streamer. But like, A, I'm not a variety streamer, I'm a voice actor who streams. And B, I don't know. I'm glad that people are here, but I hate repeating that over and over again. Uh, I honor for you. I honor you for that and count you my friend. Even though you know I'm a thief. That's... I do not know how your skills will aid us in our mission of peace, but I trust you will think of something. One with your skills must be very clever. As well as physically fit. In order to survive. Please try not to dishonor us. Don't f So that's Rakesh being like, Look man, don't f*** this up, okay? I like these people. I like these people. Don't f with me, and don't don't get all f weird and fifi, okay? Just I know you can pick locks. I think that's cool, but f man. I love this guy. He's like the guardian of the village. Lion man. It's good to see you here, Mungoje. Mungoje. I'm not very good with this language. Habari, buona. Hey, what's up, man? Mizuri buona. Behold the village of the Simbani. From the pen where the injured cattle stay, the huts and the places enter and be welcome. Bahari. Okay, bye. Ujumbo! Hey, it's Uhura! Oh, we're gonna meet the- with the Libon. I don't like this guy, from what I remember. I remember him being kind of an asshole. Mizuri! Abari. I love Rakish, he's just so- Diplomatic. Let's uh, greet. You are welcome here. Bring peace! I have sworn. Bring the Leopard Man Chief to his knees before me and you shall have this peace you pledge. What's your f***ing problem? The problem is, he's racist against Leopard Men. And they use magic. They stole the spear of death. Uh, like a holy relic of sorts for the Simbani. Oh, we got like a, he wants to have like a little Camp David Accord going on. The worth of the spear will be paid in blood, not words. I have spoken. Get the f Everyone's always telling me to get out. The Libon was most gracious, but we were not welcome. How did we offend him? 
The Simbani have lost much honor with the stealing of the Spear of Death. But he was acting weird. Simba says, Simba, me, me, Simba. Rocky, Rocky. Tell us about your day. It's been a long and most interesting day today. It's good to see you guys. Talk to me about the Liban. The Liban be my mother's brother, uncle, and has always been kind. This village be where I played as a child. It is our home for this time. Oh, they're nomads of sort. Okay, cool. The Spear of Death is a powerful weapon. Only the best of Libons may have the spear. Only our Libon is the best of Libons. Wait, I want to know about Simba. Simba's happy. Okay. Rakish, what's up? Talk to me about the spear, too. As long as the Spear of Death is missing, if we could get the Leopardmen to return the spear, the war might end without bloodshed. What if I went and stole the spear? I suggest you explore the jungles to the east of here. Okay, so go find the Leopardmen. The villagers are waiting to see you. They're killing a bullock. Oh, we're gonna go have a feast. We were treated royally. I, like, this game gives me a, an interesting, like, feeling of peace that the previous two games didn't. Just kind of like being out on the savannah, the music, the fire crackling. It doesn't feel as, like, intense. If you can find the Spear of Death, so we gotta go get the Spear of Death, okay. You will need all your skills to restore the peace here. I suggest that it will be most essential for you to maintain a sense of balance. Some give and take may be required. Okay. I mean, there's time constraints in this game for sure. Well, let's go, let's say goodnight then. You awaken as the sun begins to rise, and he was, he's gone. Uh, how heavy is my pack? Weight carried, so I'm at half my max load. I could offload some of the, the skins and stuff here that I know I'll need later, but uh, I'll actually, well. All right, let's, yeah, I don't, I don't need to offload. But that is it, guys. That is it for tonight's stream, so I'm gonna save now that we're here at the Simbani Village. And we will pick this up next week. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. We are going to be hanging out in uh, Shadowverse Land. So, I hope you can make it tomorrow morning at 9. We'll be playing some card games. And you guys get a, a chance to uh, try to f*** me up. If you think you can do it, schmoes get a chance play against me. Uh, my subscribers have a chance to spend their schmo dough. Who are we raiding tonight, you guys? We usually do a Fire Emblem raid on these days, don't we? Uh, there's someone here called Savory Nugget. I don't know if we've... Have we raided them before? Tanuki TV. I think we've done that... Shh. Okay, so we did raid Savory Nugget. How about Skia Obsidian? That sounds like a... Some of these folks I know we've raided before. So we're gonna do that. This, the, the title is Felix, You Will Be Mine. So that's great. Okay, so we'll do that. Thanks guys for hanging out tonight. It was super fun hanging out and clicking and shticking. And I will see you tomorrow for some Shadowverse. Good night guys, love you.